I get asked all the time, where are we on the dimensional scale? Are we in the third dimension? Are we in the fourth dimension? Are we in the fifth dimension? Are we in the sixth dimension? So on and so forth. And I've realized that people spend a lot of time and a lot of mental energy and energy in that matter, just trying to figure out where they are, where they're going, and how long they think it's going to take to get there. How long is it going to take humanity to arrive in the fifth dimensional field, the collective to move up through the fourth dimensional field and experience all that density and things like that. And I want to let you know that it is not important to know or try to figure out where we are. These ideas of dimensions are simply ideas that humanity has to be able to define or understand different levels or bandwidths of frequency. As we rise in vibration, we move up through these dimensional fields and we're able to perceive them. Now, here's the thing. You don't have to wait for some future event to happen or some future time or date on a calendar to be able to experience these higher dimensional fields. They are available to you now. The only thing that is preventing you from experiencing them is you and your focus and your choice usually subconsciously or unconsciously to focus away from the totality of reality, right? The unified field, the quantum field, and focus into a very narrow bandwidth of existence. That's what cuts you off from being able to experience all of these dimensional fields. So how do we do that? How do we start to open up to what lies beyond what our five senses are showing us? And that is doing everything that I talk about on this channel and really getting in and raising your vibration, finding stuck energy, feeling all of that, alchemizing it, transmuting it, that allows you to ground even more of your higher frequency light. Because here's the secret, really. You exist in all of these dimensional fields, like right now. You are there, okay? So you don't have to wait to rise up to achieve anything. Time is just a function of this lower dimensional state or field that we're focused into right at this moment. When we can focus out of this by doing that healing work, by raising your vibration, by connecting consciously to the zero point field, you could then start to experience higher aspects of reality, your guides, okay? You, your higher self, you exist in all of them. These frequencies reside within you. Now, if they are not the dominant frequencies, being that you are being controlled by your limiting beliefs, by your programming that's keeping you small, then these higher frequencies, although they exist within you, are not dominant, you are not going to experience them. So as we do this healing work, we allow more of that higher frequency light to come in and land and integrate into the body. So that reduces the lower vibrational energy in your body, your frequency, you know, you, you raise to a higher frequency and you start to be able to experience whatever matches to that frequency or dimensional bandwidth, whether it's fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, all the way up, whatever you want to, wherever you want to go. Okay. These frequencies exist within you, but you want to really make them more dominant, meaning your body has to, you got to raise your vibration, your body. We do the healing work, we do the breath work, we ground, we meditate. We feel all the dense stuff that's been anchoring us to a lower frequency timeline, right? And we start to cut the ties or remove the chains that held us low. Then we become available to perceive what's already been within us because we are already there. It's like you're turning your little telescope from here to here and you're seeing something else and it's expanding and you're seeing a greater reality. How do I know that all of these higher frequency bandwidths, higher, these higher dimensional fields exist within us right now? I know because I've experienced them. I've connected to seventh, eighth, ninth, 12th dimensional energetic multidimensional beings. Now I could not have done that if I did not hold those frequencies within my body. So I'm telling you that you have these frequencies within you. They're just not dominant at the moment. So when you create the space and do the healing work, drop all that lead heaviness 
that's been holding you down, anchoring you to a fixed lower frequency timeline, you start to be able to reach into and experience these higher fields. They're already within you. You're just allowing them to, to come forward in the moment. And then you can start to become aware of consciously and perceive these higher dimensional states. So it would be a good idea to use less brain power trying to put all of this stuff onto a timeline or onto a map because you are these higher dimensional frequencies. Time doesn't exist. Okay. It's a, it's a construct of the reality that you're focused into right now. Okay. Time and space doesn't exist. So we could stop looking at timelines for events to happen. Okay. Cause if we're tied to a timeline, we're staying tied to a lower dimensional field, meaning that we're creating an event collectively that is tied to a timeline. Okay. So it holds us low. Does that make sense? Okay, so what we want to do is release any of these expectations of time and events and when we're going to reach this or reach fifth or sixth or seventh dimensional realities and know that you already have them within you. All you need to do is clear the stuff, the gunk, the density, the trauma within your body that is holding you down into lower dimensional fields so that you can naturally rise and your consciousness expands, your body rises, vibration increases, starts moving faster. You start to experience higher dimensional fields that are already here. That's what you need to focus on. That's where you should place your energy and your attention, not on trying to anticipate where we are or when we're going to get there. If you do that and make that switch, your reality will start to open up and you will start to experience these higher dimensional fields right here and now. If this video resonated, give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. Subscribe and watch this one next. Thank you.